Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Kim here and today is Thrifty Canucks. And guess what? It's Thursday. Can you believe it? I'm actually on time today. So hopefully it's early enough in the day. Hopefully this will be loaded uh, not too late and it'll actually still be Thursday. So I have a mixed haul today, uh, a combination of going to, again, my thrift shops and I got to go to my um, little mark, uh, flea market on Sunday last week. And so I uh, picked some fun stuff. A lot of stuff for the market I picked was more for myself or my husband. I bought him a, uh, a ship's wheel uh, made out of wood and it, it's a decorative piece and uh, it's bright, you know, fire truck red. And we have the little cabin up on the hill and he's right in the process right now of painting it blue, sort of a blue color like the uh, top of this cap. And um, maybe a little bit darker. And so once it's painted this, uh, he was so excited. He couldn't believe I bought this for him. And uh, he was sitting in the car and I said, I bought you a present. <laughs> and usually it's something for the house, but but this was kind of special. And so it is bright cherry red and it will go up on on the um, peak of the house if it uh, of his cabin, if it will fit up there or somewhere close to it. But yeah, it was a fun little purchase. I'd show it to you, but I'll wait till I have it up on the on the cabin and then I will take a picture of it for you. So then for myself at the market, I bought this little uh, wicker wicker and wire basket. Now, I don't know what exactly what I'm going to do with it. It's not really functional. Um, I may put like some greeting cards or something inside. But what I liked about the outside of it is all these little basket weavings in between the wires. I just thought, well, I can dangle jewelry off of here and it'll just look pretty on in my studio. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And um, I paid two bucks for it. So it was not a huge uh, expense. And I know I will get a use out of it one way or another. But maybe not so much inside, but more on the outside is what I'm thinking. So I'll get that out of the way. And then I, I was at my little thrift shop and I did buy some fabric. And um, yeah, I couldn't resist. It, you know, it's like, it's crazy. So this was a dollar. Now it looks like it's a mixed pack. I'll just take this off. I haven't opened any of this stuff. Well, no, I, that's not true. I did open a couple of things. I don't know. Okay, so this was a dollar. And it looks like I'm getting a couple of different pieces here. Um, this is pretty. Not really my thing, but it would be fine. I would use this inside of a boho journal sort of as the inside cover. Because I, I do work a lot in these teals and blues and purples. So... Um, I could see it being on the inside of a journal cover and um, or inside of a handbag, but I don't know how big it is. Oh, yeah, it's big enough to to go inside of a handbag, too. So so that's what I would use this for. This one is exceptionally pretty. Um, I love the color. I love the florals on it. There's a lot here, so I can easily use this for making um, uh, journal covers. It is uh, cotton. It's like a quilting fabric. But uh, I would I would do kind of a padded uh, journal cover uh, with with uh, felt underneath, so it would give it a little bit more substance. Uh, but very pretty fabric. I don't know. It says uh, Springs Industries Incorporated is the copyright. I don't see anything else on here. Um, I'm actually now becoming more. Um, conscious of the labeling on these things so that I don't get stuck with fabric I can't use, um, especially for reselling my products. But I thought for a dollar, that's quite a bit of material there, which is why I kept going. Um, I think I might've been with Lori with, when I got these, because this was sitting in another bag. So I might've been with Lori at the time. Uh, hi, Lori. Now this one was a dollar 99 and this came from my Frenchie store. I recognize their tags. So I get a free tag. I get a free elastic. Um, it's all good. So so I, I keep all this stuff. You know, the elastics go in my jar. And then the tags go in my tray to uh, uh, repurpose them. And I'm just going to get rid of this little plastic thing here. Now, all plastic pieces like this, I, I try to cut them up before I put them in the garbage just so that they fall to the bottom of the bag 
and uh, nobody will eat them. Or if they do, they're, oh, what a surprise. Um, they won't be big pieces. Okay, so I get some something I didn't know I was getting here. This is a pretty green fabric. Again, perfect for inside of a journal. I don't think I would use it as a cover. Uh, and this one is very pretty. Probably a lining for a handbag uh, is what I would use it for. Uh, maybe a book cover. I have some really pretty uh, roses that are this color in um, uh, uh, fussy cuts that I cut out. Uh, so maybe I can use them with this and um, create a journal or some tags or something. So that's a cute, cute piece. Let me just get it out of the way. This next one I love. It's an upholstery fabric, I think. Again, these were this one was a dollar. And this one will definitely be used for a journal cover. Love the colors of this. Kind of a, you know, kind of a dark burgundy with the lavender and, and a little bit of mauve. Very pretty. Not a huge piece, but enough to set, definitely do a couple of journals. Uh, love it. Um, and it's a nice weight. So it will definitely get used for that. And this one here, I guess, is a little bit bigger a piece. It's one of one and a half yards, and it was two dollars for this fabric, forty-four inches wide. So very reasonable price. I, you know, I don't buy fabric anymore at the uh, fabric store. It's got to be something really amazing for me to go into the fabric store and buy fabric, because um, there's so much to work with. Whether you're repurposing clothing or, or. Um, uh, finding fabrics there. The only thing you have to be concerned with is, you know, where it came from and if it smells. Uh, I do a smell test before I even put this stuff in the cart. Um, you know, there are some things I don't mind washing, but but uh, open fabric like this that's, uh, you know, cotton, it's just a nightmare with all the strings after and all the ironing. And so I do do a, a scratch and sniff type of test uh, before I put it in my cart to make sure that it's it doesn't smell in any way. Um, and, and I also look for soil marks. But this is obvious, obviously come out of somebody's quilting stash. They were all fabrics at the same time. So I'm pretty sure it all came from one source. Now this next one, look at this. It's a fitted double sheet, but look at the colors. Isn't that gorgeous? It's uh, brand new in the package, never used. Um, this one I will wash because uh, it might have been sitting for a while. It looks like it's got a little bit of soiling on it. So I will wash this and uh, get it cleaned up and ready to go. But just love that vintage pattern. I wish it would say on here, um, I don't think it says anywhere the year. This is from Sears. Um, yeah, it doesn't say anything, but it does have a Sears sticker tag, which, you know, we haven't seen those for years, and no barcode. So that kind of tells you that it's at least from the 70s, if, if not uh, earlier than that, maybe even the 60s. But it does have some soiling here. I can feel the cardboard inside. Um, uh, so sometimes, you know, I'm I'm just going to take it out because I've had this happen more than 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 not um, where people hide things in here, but but uh, nothing in this one I don't think. When you're buying, um, if you come across vintage jewelry boxes or old sewing boxes, always check the lining. Um, that's where Grandma always slipped a couple bucks. Uh, emergency money <clears throat> and uh, in jewelry boxes you can always find some uh, fun love letters or secret uh, messages and stuff I've I found several things in my my lifetime that were you know money uh, and 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 one uh, Valentine card uh, but people hide stuff in these things so you, it's always good to look and just in case um, you know, when I was doing uh, at the antique store, I, I dealt with a lot of uh, estate stuff, and you wouldn't believe the places that people hide uh, little things of information or stuff they don't want other people to find. Um, so always double check things when you're when you're shopping. <laughs> and so before I would put this in the wash, I would thoroughly go through it. But I paid two bucks for this, and um, I know I will use it for lots of lining uh, for projects. 
Uh, I don't think it'll be a, a journal cover because it's cotton. I like to have more heavier stuff uh, unless I'm going to pad it. Um, but it just doesn't scream out to me as a journal cover. It's more for the linings or linings inside my handbags. I like them when they're really funky like this. And then this was another piece of fabric that I got, uh, $1.99 for this fabric. And after I examined it further, there's, there's other stuff in this bag. So we will open it up and see what I got. Okay, so I got some sheer... Oh, this will be fun for journals. It's a very sheer fabric. It, you know, it's not, uh, it's not gauze or, or um, cheesecloth, but it's, it's very similar. So it's a nice airy fabric that can be used to enhance. You know, when you're putting down an image, you can, you can put this underneath as an underlay. Um, very pretty. I, I will certainly use that. Um, some very silky material. Yeah. You know, I've got a lot of this kind of stuff, but this does um, cut up to make nice uh, strips for ties, um, especially if you're tying on, on tags and stuff. Uh, also would make, probably make some nice little shabby roses if uh, um, I play around with it. Uh, so, so there are some possibilities with that. Um, it's shiny stuff, you know, slippery stuff. Don't use it for sewing much unless I'm using it as, you know, something underneath something else would be good for clusters or snippet rolls. This is the piece that I was intrigued with. It's just an all over lace and it, it almost has a crocheted feel to it. Um, it's machine made obviously, but um, it's a good size piece. See some yellowing up there. So I'll throw this in, in, um, in the sink and wash it. It's, it's a fair size. It's, it looks like part of a tablecloth. It's got a finished edge. Um, but definitely great for doing spot um, pieces. I could almost see this as being for pockets. So I'm, maybe I'll wash this up and put it aside to do some pockets with it. Uh, do that and maybe use some of this underneath the pocket. Oh, there's that pink again. I don't know if you can tell. It is a very pale, pale pink. So I can't seem to get away from that pink. Um, so yeah, I, I think for $1.99 it was well worth it. And uh, I would certainly use all of this uh, up pretty quickly. And the last piece of fabric that I got is not really, oh, free bag, um, not really a fabric. Um, it's a piece of clothing. And I cannot believe this. So maybe double check wherever you're at um, because I got this beautiful sari dress. And I got it in the costumes at Value Village which is amazing. And it was $7.99. So eight times five, well, I, I mean, eight times seven is $5.60 is what I paid for it. It's like a junior teen uh, size. It's a very velvety um, fabric with these little, um, um, I guess it's glitter uh, or sort of, it's sort of a glitter chip or something. It's It's just glued on, I'm sure. But it's this was the prize, the entire prize of this of this dress. It's and these are old rhinestones. This is glass, and everything is intact, which just totally amazes me that they would make that mistake. But yeah, it's a real cutie um, or beauty, <laughs> not cutie. And then uh, you know it's got the the um, embroidery on the sides. There's uh, some uh, you know fancy work on the sleeves. The skirt has this trim all along the bottom. It's just a fabric trim, but it's just very pretty and uh, very versatile. You can use it for so many things. And then this is silk underneath. It is uh, an older, this is definitely an older style of, of um, sari. Um, it's too bad that the rest of it didn't come with it, the pants or the scarf, but, but or, you know, I would have paid more for it either way. Um, but I was just so intrigued with this little piece here. So, um, yeah, well worth the uh, $5.60 just in this uh, piece. You know, the rest is just extra. <laughs> but a lot of extra. So I will have to get some boho journals made soon i have so much to do so then um i'll show you all my paper stuff next um not a lot today 
at the flea market, I uh, picked up these. Um, they're, they're maps, but they're very old maps. Um, and, and they're kind of local areas uh, across Canada a little bit. But I just loved this old map um, coloring and... Uh, the inside of the maps are old. Um, you know, this is on New Brunswick, so I may keep this just for myself, uh, just for for um, uh, to have. You know, here I could probably frame it or something. Uh, but on the other side is even more, and the colors. I just love the colors of these old maps. I'm not going to take the whole thing apart, but I love the colors. All of these panels here. Um, they're just uh, indexed of, of the different areas. They would make beautiful um, either tag bases or belly bands. And there's a lot of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. I don't know. Uh, and then same with on the other side. So I can certainly see using those uh, in a journal quite easily. And uh, just covering over top. And then this comes on both sides, which is nice. Um, this one has Texaco on there. I just love that. I, I'll have to further investigate the dates on here, but you can sort of tell by the old cars that it's it's not that uh, current. Um, so yeah, there'll be some fun with that one. This one looks like it's a little bit newer. Oh, maybe not. Um, yeah, this one's uh, Quebec. So I will investigate further the dates. Here's another one of Texaco, Quebec and the Maritimes. Um, just Just beautiful. And I paid three bucks for all of these. So here's Imperial Oil. Um, some people would go crazy to have these just in their collection, I'm sure. Uh, Alberta, British Columbia. Again, I don't know the dates on these. I'd have to go through them a little bit further to see the dates. Another one for New Brunswick. Canada's unspoiled province by the sea. Isn't that the truth? Um, so again, fabulous colors in here. Um, I'm not going to open it all the way up. You know what it's like when you take a map apart, you can never fold it back up the same way again. <laughs> but lots of fun uh, colors in here to work with. Um, this one is also New Brunswick. Um, I'll have to send one of these to Lori, I think. A free tour map of New Brunswick. This has got a lot of fun things in it. Oh, I bet you Lori would like this one. Um, she went to the longest covered bridge while she was here and we had never been I don't know if the pictures are in here but I'll have to find it and see um, we had never been ourselves so we ended up going after her after them to the longest uh, world bridge in the world it's the longest covered bridge in the world and then this one is also New Brunswick yeah Lori I think you're getting one of these maps <laughs> I'll have to send you one uh, and you can map out all your tour out here so there was that, and then I picked up this, it's a coloring book, and it's Fairyland, and it was at Value Village, and so it was $3.99 because it's a soft cover book, so four times seven is $2.80. You know, I said for that price, I get the, the uh, inside cover, which has a nice design on it, and then I have all these blank angel images, or fairy images, sorry. Um, I like to slip these once in a while in a journal for, for people to play with. Um, I'm, I was also thinking of, you can buy some, some, uh, very inexpensive, um, uh, felt markers at the dollar store. I thought it would be fun, uh, on occasion to put a couple of these in a journal with the, the, the uh, markers for somebody to play with. You know, the markers wouldn't be meant to last uh, a long time, but they would certainly be enough to color one or two pages. And I thought that would be a fun thing to do in a journal. So if you are doing a journal on different, you know, you could, you could be doing a boho journal and put mandelas in there um, because there's lots of mandelas. There's lots of floral books and butterfly books, all kinds. So, you know, just as another idea to include in your book, make a long pocket where, where you can uh, put all the markers and then have a couple of fold-out pages where people can color them in if it's related to your book. It might be some fun, interesting things to, to uh, play around with and do. But just beautiful pictures, isn't it? Um, love it all. I've been I've been talking about doing some coloring book uh, illustrations in uh, for my um, 
my digitals. So, so stay tuned for that. That may be coming up as well. Um, you know, I may use this idea to further enhance the idea that I have. So yeah, just fun book for, for $2 and 80 cents. I can handle that. And then this, um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Uh, I love it. I can't copy it. I can't uh, even copy the, the uh, design ideas because it's copyright. But it's a book on Victorian gift boxes. There's 22 in here. This book has never been used. So I'll just take you to the, the pages. Um, so these are like little round, uh, like a pillbox almost, uh, like a round circle. Um, they show the different designs in here uh, on the two two or three pages. Yeah, here's the little pillbox ones. But the colors are just so attractive. And then they give you little extra die cuts, I guess, to enhance them or to use as gift cards with these. It's not something that I, you know, I don't have anybody local to, to uh, give a gift to. And, and then you've got to also know what you're going to put in one of these. Uh, but it's just the colors are so vibrant. And, um, you know, they're all die cut and, uh, and then they are all scored for easy folding. So I just thought they were so pretty. Um, I may consider taking them apart individually and just slipping them in, in the ephemera boxes and stuff. Like, look at this one. Isn't that pretty? Or the elephants with the tigers. Um, it's not, like I said, it's not something that I would have as a, as a gift for somebody, but I was just so attracted to the images. Another thing I can do is, um, yeah, cut them out individually and use them as, as journaling cards and things in a, in a journal. Um, you know, it's kind of a shame because they are beautiful boxes, but they would make some very gorgeous, uh, tags, uh, definitely. So, and some tabs that would make a nice tab or this one would make a nice tab. So it might get cut up. I don't know. Give me some ideas, you guys, if you think I shouldn't cut it up. Um, yeah, it's not like I have people here that I could give a gift to. You know, I could maybe do something uh, like, look at this one. This this is Alice in Wonderland right here, right? The uh, the uh, white rabbit. Very cute. So that could further enhance a journal by just, you know, I could possibly cut them in half and make like open and closed flips. Hmm. All right. I keep talking. So eventually I might come up with something. Yes, this, this would make a really nice uh, tag that would flip open. Um, there's your top of the tag or some tabs. I keep talking. Um, I'm, I might have a use for this after all. I've always wanted to do a circus book and I've been collecting for years for one. So who knows? Um, I will give it some more serious thought. And then there's some, uh, you know, how to pages of how to put them together. And um, those just become great pages for making uh, extra large envelopes. So a fun book. It was uh, $6.99. So seven times seven is four dollars and ninety cents so it was five dollars um so yeah great find on that one um something else i want to show you i bought two of these recently and um they are those larger file folders um it's for hanging hanging files these are also great just to store large books um, you could, you could have it storing the other way, uh, so, so that it's upright, um, or you can have them stacked so that, that you store them in sections or the way it's meant to be. Um, but they're great for holding 12 by 12 paper. They're also great for holding these very large books. So if you have a collection of large books and you want to keep them all contained somewhere, this is a nice way. And then you can, it's easy to lift and easy to go through. Um, these show up at the thrift shop all the time. I buy the smaller ones for putting uh, cardstock and letter paper in, uh, as well, but I just love this size for, for uh, larger papers so that I'm, you know, not trying to stuff them into something. So keep that in mind if ever you're out shopping and you find these, cause usually you can find them pretty inexpensively. So my next thing was, and I did open the bags. <coughs> Excuse me. Not because I want to jump ahead of you. Well, maybe. Um, but but I also, uh, you know, I know how long it takes to open these bags online. So I, I opened it ahead of time and then I, well, I had to look. Um, so another bag of stamps. This was $5. So five times seven is 350 Thank you, Linda. 
And I got four stamps. This one I couldn't tell what it was when it was in the bag because that's all I could see uh, when I was buying it. I was only buying this for one stamp. Uh, and then I turned it around when I got it out and it's a, a, a kind of an old world Santa look. Um, cute. Uh, not my thing. So that will be going up for sale in my shop eventually. Um, this is kind of a star in a starburst, like a sun kind of shape. It looks like the, the, um, the star is the blank part and this gets to be the colored part. Um, that's my guess. Uh, again, not my thing. So it will go in my, my, um, um, website. And then this one is a Stampin' Up! from 2003. It's a snowman. Again, not my thing. I, I don't do a lot of seasonal stuff like Halloween and and um, Christmas. Um, about as much Christmas as I'm going to do would be, um, you know, uh, small journals or uh, planner journals for uh, people to do their Christmas shopping and, and their, you know, party planning and recipes and, and that kind of thing. Um, but that's as far as I would go for a Christmas journal. You know, it's just Tom and I. We don't have children or grandchildren. You know, we have lots of extended family and stuff, but but it's just not our thing I mean I put up a Christmas tree and and it's it's for us and we enjoy it um and you know and we we buy each other little presents but nothing super serious it's not it's not about any of that for us it's just spending time together but um it's not Christmas is not something that I decorate you know, I don't go out and, and do it. I used to years ago, but, you know, you get to the point where it's like, ah, if I put up the tree, that's that's plenty. <laughs> and I bake a pie and make a turkey. <laughs> that's that's my thing. Turkey dinner. Um, but going back to the stamps, this is the only stamp I wanted out of the package and I could see it. And I have seen this one before. It is one I wanted. It's hydrangeas and a little girl. I don't know how well it stamps. I will give it a try. It doesn't look like it's been used. If 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 um, it was, it was cleaned very well. Um, but you know how expensive these are to buy brand new. Now, this is from 2005. So it's it's getting up there in age. It's almost 20 years old. But I thought, you know, this is what I wanted out of the whole package. And so the rest of these will end up for sale in my shop. I'm probably going to be updating it sometime this weekend. Uh, and it'll be the coffee shop that I update. I am slowly um, moving things over from my current website to the coffee uh, site so that I have all my digitals and my products together in one place. This way, when I post new things, if you if you follow me on coffee, you'll get updates of new products that I put out. There will be a lot of new stuff. Uh, it's time for me to start purging things like my wooden stamps and my acrylics. I will be um, doing some videos where I play with them and uh, use them and see, and you know, it'll be a yay or nay, and I will put them up for sale if I don't want them. Um, same with things like paper packs and um, some fabrics. Uh, you know, I want to get to the point where I use a fabric, make what I want to create, and then I sell off the rest of it. So there will be some great bargains coming up. Same with laces and trims and flowers. Um, it will be, the prices will be ridiculous. Now on my coffee site, um, I charge $9 shipping. It doesn't matter if you live in North America, anywhere, whether it's in Canada or the United States. I um, I can't really give you a price if you live uh, on the other side of the pond. Um, so so you would have to contact me uh, to find out what the price would be, um, it, you know, for shipping. But it, it would always be the bare minimum shipping price charges um, as much as I can possibly do it and I do recommend that you know if you've got a couple of gal pals get together place a sizable order and this way the shipping is almost nothing um, and it's very insignificant so I think even in into um, uh, like um, international like United Kingdom and uh, those areas I I probably can send up to two kilograms in one box yeah, it's not cheap. I would have to figure out the pricing. But if you're splitting the cost of shipping, you know, three or four different ways, um, it, it really uh, reduces the price a lot. So just keep that in mind. If you are a coffee member um, where you are a um, 
a paid subscriber to my channel, if you place an order, um, you know, it'll all automatically charge you the $9 shipping. And the only thing I can do uh, is do a refund. I will refund $3 back to you because that's the, the cost of the month for, for your membership. So I want to give back again to members who are constant members that if you buy um, something, you know that the shipping in the end is only going to cost you $6. Even though you get charged 9 I will refund the $3. So that, in, in anywhere in, in uh, Canada or United States, you know, uh, I mean, I'm not Amazon, but you know, I, not too many companies can ship uh, for six dollars. Uh, so, so being a member, and and you can take advantage of that three times in a month. So, so if you're a member and you're paying three dollars for your membership, and then you place an order and you get three dollars back, um, it's a no-brainer, right? And then if you place a second order in the month, um, you get another three dollars back. Or you know, if you place an order every month, you get three dollars back. So it's like getting your membership for free. In in a roundabout way. It's the only way I could do it that it would work for, for everybody is to just refund you <laughs> so that you get that back. Um, so yeah, it does pay to be a member and, and I, I know that my members that are taking advantage of this already see that, that it's well worth it. Okay, promotion over for now. <laughs> So the next thing I want to show you, and this one I didn't open, was this set of coasters, um, and it was two ninety nine. So three times seven, two dollars and ten cents. Now, I should have opened it. I will next time. These plastic bags. I've got my pliers here. Let me get these staples out. Okay. All right, so this was $3. I didn't know what I was actually getting, but it's a set of coasters. Oh, they're very pretty. And I think these would make really nice embellishments in a boho journal. Um, they're very plain fabric, so I could see taking and um, doing some glitter using my, my glitter... Um, stickle things and and other other stuff uh maybe some some uh sequins and beads just to decorate them up a little bit i think they would make really cute closures i could see poking a hole on either side uh weaving a piece of sari ribbon around so that it comes to the other side and ties or or uh ties uh, together I haven't quite figured that out but that's sort of where i was going with this so i got three six of them for two dollars and ten cents and then is this a box tell me it's a box yay it's a box with a little note in here box this goods are made from batik by maldives so what this box now becomes can you figure this one out it becomes a bit box in my my little tray here and this would be really nice for holding fancy gems, maybe some sequins and stuff in here that I know is sort of boho related so that it would sit on my desk and be handy. So all around, I got a good score here with the, both the box and the um, medallions, the coasters inside. And then I got a bag and a couple of tags. Yeah, it's a win. <laughs> I know I'm crazy. So then, um, oh, the, the lady that I uh, bought the ship's wheel for my husband, I sh should have shown it to you. Um, she didn't have a whole lot of other stuff, but but I can't believe that she charged me $5. And I didn't want to have this deer in headlights or, or too excited looking, you know, the start the car moment. Uh, look in my face when I said, yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> I was trying to be very casual, like, oh, yeah, whatever. But inside, I was jumping up and down excited. So she had a bucket of jewelry, and I asked her, how much are, you, are, your, are your jewelry pieces? And she said, oh, um, one and two dollars. So look at that. Isn't that a pretty boho style, just like that? Now, these are those long beads, but this would make a really nice uh, finish on a tag, you know, against something. Isn't that pretty? just love it. Um, so, so this one was, she charged me $2 for, and then this one, she charged me a dollar for it. Isn't that incredible? So I think I'll just, uh, probably put those in the same box, but yeah, thank you to the nice lady. And, uh, you know, I was so excited. I was trying to look, you know, like, like it was just an everyday purchase, <laughs> but I couldn't wait to get out to the car to show my husband. 
So I got those, and then from another vendor, I got this necklace for a dollar, and it is just a collection of spacer beads and some pearls and, and um, some fancier uh, rhinestone ones, um, not rhinestone, um, just glass beads, um, multifaceted, and just, just uh, a cute piece to take apart and use for art. So another dollar. And my last thing to show you today, it's not super duper exciting, but I liked it. And, and so I figured I'll save it for the end. And it was a scrunched up bag that you couldn't really, really tell what it was. And it came from Value Village and, and uh, it was $3 for the bag. So it was $2.10. I knew what it was right away. I just didn't know what kind of condition they were in. But I got one, two, three four packages of the rose the uh, shabby rose ribbon and what I like about this is in white you can color these any color you want you can cut them off at whatever length you want these are beautiful embellishments on different projects so I have three white and one ivory these are just perfect colors to work with so that in alone uh, if you take the two dollars and ten cents that's like 50 cents a package that in itself is well worth it um i got a piece of green shiny elastic it could be a belly band could be um you know a tie to close the book uh could be something i pass on because it's kind of a bright green not really my color maybe i'll throw it in jennifer's box <laughs> poor jennifer when she gets that box and stuff oh my goodness and then now this one I will keep. Um, this is like my boho stuff. It's just an elastic sequin uh, um, trim. And, and it looks like there's about a meter here. Let's just double check. Yeah, it, it, it's uh, a little bit better than a meter. Um, so again, part of this $2.10, it is well worth it. And this can be cut off and used as trim on all kinds of things. Uh, you know, it could be boho. It could be, um, you know, like my... Um, uh, shabby stuff. Uh, just a lovely, I, I like the color of this, not fond of this color, but I do like this color. Um, so, so this one I'm keeping, but, but yeah, it's all of this was well worth the, the, uh, $2 and 10 cents that I paid anytime and the bag. And so that's it for my haul for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, today is Thursday and hopefully it'll be Thursday by the time this gets loaded up, it'll still be Thursday. Um, every once in a while I have issues where, you know, YouTube and, and my internet decide they're going to take a break. So it, sometimes they, they, you know, I try to get it loaded up in time, but it ends up going through the next day. But, um, the rest of the day, I do have a lot of orders and, uh, packages to get out. So if you're waiting for something on, uh, from me, it will be going out between today and tomorrow. Um, and you should get a message from me saying that it's going. So, uh, if you are waiting for something, it's, it's getting worked on this afternoon. Other than that, uh, tomorrow was going to be my follow-up day, but I'm bumping that to, uh, Saturday because I have another, uh, video in between. If you watch my last video, I showed, um, the tag book and the cluster book. And I'm, I've really been talking about, I got to get my desk cleared off. So you can actually see that it's, it's quite empty here and, and it's, it's going to be even more empty by the end of, of, of uh, the week. Um, but I have another video that I, uh, posted that will go up tomorrow and, and it's, um, it might be like watching paint dry because I'm actually gonna, I'm actually working on stuff in a basket. So, um, it, it, this is a whole new concept for me to, to work, you know, and, and you watch me work. I'm, I'm not Gail. Um, she can do it and pull it off. And then, uh, you know, these girls, uh, and I've told them, uh, Darcy, uh, at Mi um, um, mixed media and, uh, Darcy's mixed media and, um, Cindy from Studio Lo, uh, Studio Lou, you guys are killing me <laughs> that you can actually get, you know, 10, 12 pieces done in a day. I don't, I don't get it, but I'm, I'm trying. And so I'm, I'm uh, hopefully going to get better at it. And, and I would really like some feedback, you know, be kind. Um, but you know, some, some, what your thoughts are on me doing this, if it's something you want to see me continue, <laughs> Or if you'd say, I'd rather see something else. I'm good with that. If <laughs> that's how you explain it. Anyway, it'll, it'll be on tomorrow's video. And, um, uh, so that'll be Friday. Friday is also the start of my, uh, next, 
uh, challenge, uh, creative challenge in both the boho artisans and crafting with your eyes wide open. So if you haven't participated in this week, come on, you guys, I really want to see some stuff here. So the next challenge goes up tomorrow and um, you'll have to go to the groups to see what it is. Uh, I will post it on, on Saturday on my follow-up. So the follow-up will be a little collection of everything plus some new digitals uh, that I'm pretty happy with. So that'll be uh, coming up on uh, Saturday. So that's it. That's all for today. It is a kind of a cloudy, cool day today. Surprising. It's a fall day um, and it's overcast, but uh, I've got uh, a ham bone in, in the soup pot and uh, peas soaking in some water. And so I'm going to make a big pot of uh, homemade uh, pea soup with ham and I'm going to get all my mail done. So that's it. That's all for today. I wish you all a creative day and a creative weekend coming up and we will talk to you all soon. Bye for now.